hello hello uh pisces this is your love reading for august 23 um i hope you guys are doing well i hope the heat isn't killing you like it's killing me but let's just check in on the energies of love that is surrounding you um see how your heart uh, is feeling at this time and what is coming in for you pisces so oh you got give your relationship a chance and you have make the effort so immediately pisces let me just meditate on these cards real quick i just really want to think about this so immediately pisces i feel that there is something that needs to be worked on here and i don't feel like it's anything small Pisces, I feel like whatever this partnership is, I feel that it's it's big. I feel that there is a closeness here. I'm getting like soulmate, you know, um, bleeding all over uh, the energy right now. And I feel that, you know, there is a need uh, for you to make a decision, you know, about something. There is someone here that you love or someone that loves you. But I feel like there could be some type of blockage uh, between the two of you. And the card says, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So in your heart of heart, Pisces, there you're being guided to do something. And I hope that whatever it is, is not being blocked by pride or ego, okay? Because there's nothing um worse than you know ruining something that's good for you because you know pride or ego is in the way um when i look at these cards you have you know it says gives your relationship a chance like if you look at the two people on this card like look how close they are i feel that there's someone that you share something with and not just some any old thing i just feel like this is something that is rather strong or large right and it says you know um give it a chance and for some of you maybe if you know you've given it a lot of chances but for whatever reason the card is asking you to still you know work on this i feel i feel like there's an energy here for you to push through something and you know make the effort there's an energy here of communication i do feel that for some of you you know you're feeling like you know um do you want to talk to someone or maybe someone you know may want to talk to you um i'm gonna pull a couple more of these cards i do feel that and look how, again like look how close these two are you know this could be someone from your past because you got two children here so whenever you see these little kids you get lots of soulmate energy nostalgia you know childlike you know uh experiences like things like that but um definitely somebody that you've known before um that's, that's been around you know probably for a while but you got these kids here and then you got the adults here so there was some type of growth along the way in this relationship you got passion allow your heart and soul to sing joy again this is somebody that i do feel that you had a very cl close relationship with at this time pisces i feel like maybe you're not so close and i don't know do all these cards have people all up in each other's faces like this i'm about to look but again look how close these two are look how close uh these two are look how close <laughs> these two are like you got darn it you know they're about to merge into each other and as i'm looking through there are other cards on here you know with people up close like that but you know there are also cards here where they're not so you know whoever this is there is a very close connection between the two of you and you got codependency here strong attraction may i say that strong attachment but that's interesting because even though the card says codependency which usually means like you know you're just kind of hooked on somebody this person's sitting by themselves 
you know, using your codependent on somebody, not saying you have to be all up in their face, but you would think the drawing on the card would kind of put, you know, get that little devil with the chains, you know, and the devil card and things like that. But, you know, here this person is alone and it says addictions are affecting your romantic life. So I feel like as of right now, uh, for some of you Pisces, you are probably, even though there's a strong connection to this person, she's sitting alone. So I feel like, you know, you may not be uh, in this person's uh, presence at this time, or maybe there could be, like I said earlier, there may be like no communication uh, between the two of you. But yet, she's thinking about it, isn't she? You know, like she's in deep thought right now. Like she's thinking like, you know, should I reach out to this person? Should I not? Is it worth it? Is, you know, what, what should I do right now? Because I do feel there's a strong um urge you know to probably reach out but yet right now it's just not happening because i feel that you're in a place where it's like do i you know start something new with this person or attempt to or do i just seek new love elsewhere even if that new love is just loving yourself right yeah okay what else do we have for pisces in love for august spirit what else do we have <laughs> yeah so we got unwilling to yield, um, clashing personalities, absolutely. And we have um, long distance love. So that's pretty much what I was thinking, right? I do feel like there's distance between you and someone else. Uh, whether this is just energetically or physically or both. I do feel that there is a lack, you know, of intimacy at this time, communication at this time, and you got unwilling to yield. So my question for you, Pisces, is, is that, you know, how can you make an effort? How can you give your relationship a chance if someone is unwilling to yield? So if you're thinking about reaching out to this person and you're just like, nope, fuck it. You know, or that person is thinking about reaching out to you and they're like, nope, fuck it. I do feel that you are missing out, you know, on an opportunity because it clearly, you know, there is there's closeness here. There's love here on on different levels. Um, but something is uh, causing some disruption and it could be clashing personalities. Right. Because I feel like whoever this person is, you know, you know, you guys tend to I don't know. I feel like there's love. There's closeness, there's passion, there's commonalities, but at the same time, what is it about the personalities that, you know, you know, that that's that's clashing? You know, maybe you get into arguments, stupid stuff. You know, maybe, you know, you like the lights on, that person likes the lights out. You know, maybe you look at relationships one way, they look at relationships, you know, at, uh, in another way. And maybe that is the blockage that's here, this personality clash, okay? Let's see. Let's get uh, one more card. Um, we'll just take the one that's on the bottom of the deck, all right? So it says potential life partner. So I do feel that this is someone that you may see yourself, you know, with in some way, shape, or form. So, you know, you could look at this person as a potential life partner. Maybe this person is. Maybe this person looks at you as a potential life partner, but there is something that is kind of keeping you guys um, apart. So you got two cards that came out. You got hung up on the past. And you also have a fling. So I really don't take this fling energy as being like, you know, somebody's being promiscuous or cheating. That could very well be the case. But I look at this when it says hung up on the past and fling, you know, coming out together. I just feel like this is part of the interruption, you know, between the two of you. I feel like the clashes, you know, kind of cause you guys to come together for short periods of time and then you're apart. And part of that, this, this, this uh, uh, clashing uh, personalities may have to do, you know, with that, um, these feelings, you know, of the past. So for some of you that you could have some type of um, maybe things that maybe uh, you've done or things that this other person has done, maybe behaviors, you know, uh, that yeah the other person has displayed or you've displayed you know that is kind of you know preventing this coming together you know of the two of you and what i mean by that is is 
you know, uh, maybe, you know, one of you, you know, kind of stepped out, you know, on the relationship and maybe had a little thing going on. That's, that's possible. That's possible. Um, or maybe in between breakups and things like that, you know, one of you or both of you could have had little flings. But what's interesting is regardless, I do feel that, you know, you come back together, you know, again. Because uh, look at the closeness that's here. Look at the stuckness. I mean, these two are just stuck you know, uh, want each other, you know, it's almost like, you know, you want to come together, but <laughs> you just can't, I don't know, there's, just, you know, there's something there, it could be family issues involved here, and maybe upbringing, again, like the way you may look at relationships and partnerships, and way the other person may look at, you know, partnerships and relationships, you know, um, yeah, um, let's just, let's just see, I don't want to make my role uneven here, Pisces, but I am going to just ask for um, another card. So, unexpected news came out. So, this could be, you know, like communication. I feel like, um, and you got uh, twin souls on the bottom of the deck. There could be some type of communication that comes out right now. You know, you could be silent, you know, refusing to yield, refusing to talk, refusing to be the one that actually places the call or sends the text whatever the case may be, but I feel at some point someone's going to break. And um, expect it or not, you know, I do feel like, you know, communication, you know, will make its way because I, I feel that energy of like, you know, some childhood sweethearts here, <laughs> you know, it's like, it's almost hard, you know, to stay away from that. So you got planning your future. So if, despite the fact that, you know, you love this person, this person loves you, um you are still moving on with your life and i feel like moving on with your life focusing on you is what's helping you to not focus so much you know on um this commitment right bottom of the deck you know it says better friends than lovers and that could very well be the case for you here pisces you know maybe you know that's the case you know maybe someone's just not ready right now because you got right not ready that just came out here and again twin souls you know on the bottom of the deck you know this this relationship could be one of those twin frame relationships you know runner chaser one's ready one's not you know and you got learning um karmic lessons that just flipped over you know all it could be all about that you know and you got different goals definitely could have some different goals here right like i said you may like um mayonnaise from hellman's and this person may like miracle whip you know i don't i don't know you know just on a on a deeper level than that you know maybe deeper than what kind of mayonnaise you use in the house right but definitely you know some differences here that are causing clashes differences of opinion um but definitely something to be learned here we're gonna get one more card because because uh, we're going to even out the row. I can't help myself. I can't help myself. Um, it says healing one another. So with these type, with this type of dynamic, you know, when you have like uh, learning karmic lessons and things like that, you know, if this isn't going the way that you want it to go, Pisces, if I may make a recommendation, you know, I'm not telling you what to do or how to live your life or how to govern your heart. But when you have, you know, this type of dynamic where you have so much passion, you know, so much closeness. Um, you know that there is something here for you. Whether it's that person, you know, maybe that's what the universe is trying to gift you with. Or maybe the universe is trying to gift you with this karmic lesson, right? Um, you can set aside and focus on your stability and, you know, occupy you know yourself or both of you you know can do these things you can play the game and sit back and try to block this out but you know somebody i feel is suffering in silence you know i feel like somebody here is isolated they're alone you know they're not really living their fullest and that is because you know there is there's healing that needs to be brought about here if you are you know in a place where this relationship is being used, you know, as a means to heal other traumas, you know, childhood traumas or, you know, uh, things that had happened growing up. So sometimes, particularly with this codependency here, you know, people become, you know, dependent on relationships 
you know, as a means to fix uh, the things within them that they honestly just need to heal. Relationships aren't going to fix what happened to you as a child. Uh, they're not going to fix um, your past experiences in other relationships. Sometimes getting into another relationship isn't the answer. And until you fix the way you view love, relationships, and uh, the way a person is, you know, put in your life or, you know, how they affect your life, like, you you don't get into relationships to, um, to block out, you know, what, you, what you're going through. So if you're right now, if you know you got healing to do within yourself, being in a relationship may not be what's best right now. And coming together with your twin or, you know, you are getting back pretty much what, you know, you're giving out. So if you got healing to do, then most likely so does this, so does this person that you're dealing with, right? And neither one of you are coming together right now because it's just not the time. But what it is time to do is to look, you know, within yourself and be like, why am I in this place? You know, why do I not have love in my life right now? What can I change about myself? What is it that I need to learn so that, you know, I can have, you know, the relationship that clearly somebody wants here so bad, Pisces, whether it's you or them or both of you. I do feel there's an energy here where the two of you can heal one another because it says healing one another. But I think that the lesson that needs to be learned here isn't, by means of the two of you coming together. I feel that the lesson needs to be learned apart. There is some inner uh, work that needs to be done, some introspection. Having another person come into your life isn't going to fix you or heal you. You can't love somebody else if you, you know, don't really love yourself. And sometimes we can sense that I love myself. I like me. Uh, okay, maybe you do, maybe you don't, maybe that's just what you're telling yourself. Like, is there something that you can do to love yourself a little bit more? I don't know. But you know what, though? I know this is getting long, and it's, you probably lost your attention span, Pisces. So I'm going to move on from this. But I do feel that there is something really deep here, right? You got sexuality. I do feel that there's a strong sexual connection between the two of you, but I feel like sometimes when you're in each other's presence, you tend to burn each other out, you know? So that's where that clashing is coming in because I feel like you, you know, one of you or both of you are feeding off of each other is to fill the gaps in your insecurities. And you know what those are, and that person knows what they are as well, right? Reinvent yourself. This is what you need to focus on, not necessarily this relationship. You know, it's okay, like the card said earlier, to be friends, you know, while you fix, you know, what needs to be fixed about you. You know, we can think that we're hiding behind, you know, our possessions, you know, our cars, our clothes, our homes, and things like that. But when you're dealing with your twin, they see more than what you think. And you find yourself because, you know, they see what you're hiding, you see what they're hiding as well. But you're so focused on what they're hiding, you're not trying to fix what you're hiding. So as you're looking at this person, like, I know I, you know, my little twin is over here acting like they acting. I know their insecurities. I know what's bothering them. Okay, that's great that you know what's going on with that person. But do you know what's going on with yourself? Because they know. So while you're analyzing them, right, they looking right in the mirror at you, you know, seeing themselves. So they see what you're hiding too. So stop pretending, you know, as if, you know, you don't have no issues. You both have issues, Pisces. Both of you do. They see it and you see it, okay? So now is an opportunity, I think, here in the cards where, you know, make the effort if need be, either to reinvent yourself, you know, and, and be honest with yourself or to admit that you have issues. You know, there could be an apology, you know, in order here. If someone says something they weren't supposed to say or if they're acting like, I'm perfect. Pisces, if you're acting like you're perfect and nothing's wrong with you, then you got, you got, you got, work to do if the person you're dealing with is acting like that they got work to do okay you know we we all got work to do right change it's time for change it's time for change it's time to stop pretending and hiding behind that mask because that's what i feel is going on in this particular dynamic 
while you're sitting here, you know, hiding, you're actually all alone, isolated, you know, trying to figure stuff out. I don't need nobody. Okay. Maybe you don't. Maybe you do. Sunglasses. Watching. Looking. Stalking. Gas uh, lighting. Perception. Focusing out. Again, distracting yourself, right? Hiding behind these lenses, right? Pretending. Uh, that's exactly what, you know, somebody is doing here. And go ahead. I mean, because what's weird is, is as you're acting like you don't want to be seen, you know, or that you don't care, you're actually watching. You're watching. Someone's watching you. You're watching them. Somebody's stalking, you know, social media. Tarot card readings. Uh, you know, it's always cross watchers, right? Um, you know, you're watching, you're looking, someone's watching, someone's looking, and re reverse the roles, Pisces. This isn't directed towards you, and by no means, but if it fits, the shoe fits, you know, then wear it, right? Accept it, put it on, rock it out. If it doesn't, then this is your person, right? Gaslighting, that's, you know, that's the thing about living in denial, right? You think you're gaslighting somebody, or they think they're gaslighting you, and they not. They see straight through you. They, you know, if somebody's wearing these, these dark glasses and it may appear that they're not looking at you, you can't see their eyes, but they see you clearly. They really do. What else for Pisces? What else for Pisces? What else? Engagement ring. You could be engaged to this person, was engaged to this person, want to be engaged to this person, but nevertheless, it speaks of a partnership, you know, a completion, a union, a commitment, all of that. I feel like this is what is wanted here. This is where, you know, I feel that both of you feel that this should be, or maybe you feel like this is being, I mean, for some of you, you could have gotten, you know, this, this close, you know, but you know there's a there's a connection here this lifetime next lifetime past lifetime there's definitely been a time you know where you've gotten really close to this person maybe even to the point of engagement since the engagement ring is here but where is it at now got the butterfly things changed right some type of change came in some type of transformation this is be lighthearted finding out things coming to light adapt change and heal healing is definitely needed it is healing is definitely needed um and in addition to that you know um there there is some things that are coming to light i hope that during this time you know this distance i feel that you know is there this this is a time to kind of go within you know release uh these ego attitudes uh let go you know, uh, feeling like, you know, I ain't chasing nobody, you know, whether that person's saying that, both of you are saying that, and that's, you know, and, but then the card saying, hey, make the effort, somebody got to give, and if you don't, then I guess there'll be nothing. So what's coming in in August for you, Pisces, you know, is, is whatever you want it to be. At the end of the day, you got paradise, which is is happiness. Um, joy, expansion, playfulness, one way, um, oneness, enjoying each other. I feel like you can, this can happen. But I feel like before it does, I think this healing has to take place. Honesty. Really being honest. And, and coming out of, you know, taking off that mask. I think that mask needs to come off. And, and there's definitely uh, some of that here. What else for uh, Pisces? And we got one at fail. We got the Phoenix. So this is this is this is up and coming, right? This is a new phase. This is some type of renewal, some change. You know, even a change of mind, right? Changing uh changing your viewpoint, the way you look at things, things being reinvented, you know, brought back to life again. That's a good sign. So, you know, this is your your love life goes where you want it to go. If you want a change, then make the change. If you want to let go, then let go. But free yourself from it, right? You're in separation right now. If that's where you want to stay, stay. Sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. Yep, this is where your mind is, isolated and alone, in sadness. 
either you or both of you <laughs> you know this is what's going on right now wanting to reinvent this wanting to reach out wanting to call wanting to make the effort but not but not you know talking right you miss that right you miss talking to this person spending time with this person you know all of that you know interests are the same your your text call email it says right you know some of you are like hovering over your phone right now like should i call damn I, no fuck it you know you're you're what this is a struggle some of you are looking at your phone, hoping that the person will call. That person's looking at their phone, hoping that you're going to call. Somebody got to do it. Somebody got to make the effort. That's how we came into the reading here, right? That's how we came into this. All right, what else for Pisces? Wow. Single. Single. <laughs> if that's how you want to be, then stay. If you want something new, then make it happen, okay? But right now, this is where you are. This is where they are. And you're playing games for sure. You know, all of that call, no call, I'm not giving in. I'm not saying I'm sorry. You know, all right, don't. Right? Stay in your feelings. Stay hurt. Stay right where you are. Enjoy that, right? Whether this is you or them, enjoy that, right? Because you know at the end of the day, that's what you do you make the perfect team so you know fix it it's possible i hate love readings anyway let's see what else we have here look at that three of swords right we have broken heart right now sadness hurt pain discomfort like a motherfucker that's what that is god it must feel awful to wake up like that every day go to bed like that every day trying to find you know look at this queen right look how sad she looks sitting there all alone single right this is that queen all alone holding all her shit you know all alone house full of stuff no, nothing in it you know no life no love no nothing interesting the queen of cups is, is supposed to be nurtured right fulfilled happy that queen don't look happy don't she she really looks sad don't she look sad she do. Okay. Ah, oh, look at there. They got the seven of cups, right? Decisions, decisions. Confusion, you know, delusions. Like, you know, I, these thoughts suck. And you got the hangman chilling here, you know, like waiting around, trying to figure out what to do, you know? What else? Oh, that flew across the room. Oh, look at there. You have the sun that is what awaits if you want it you know the sun is all about happiness joy you know the universe you know saying here i got what you need if you want it it's yours all you have to do is make the effort okay so pisces uh like and subscribe i hope you enjoyed your video and um i will see you guys in our next chat